In this brief video, we'll look at what is meant by the money supply and consider two ways of measuring it, looking at narrow money and broad money. The money supply, by definition, is the total amount of money in circulation in an economy at a given point in time. Narrow money includes coins and notes in circulation, current, or also called checking account deposits, commercial banks, liquid assets at the central bank. Now essentially, narrow money is highly liquid, which means its convertibility to cash occurs without any loss of value. This type of money is easy to access and spend. Cash can be used immediately for purchases and debit cards can pay from a checking account also immediately. The key feature here is that in this case, money serves as a medium of exchange. In contrast, broad money is the total sum of assets that households and businesses use to make payments and also hold as short-term investments. It includes forms of money that act as a medium of exchange, which is narrow money, and also includes those forms of money that act as a store of value, such as savings accounts and government bonds. So by now, you should have a better understanding of these key terms. Leave any questions or comments below and we can discuss them together. That's us done for now and I'll see you in the next one.